Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this one I'm going to show you how to complete the fishy punch card and in order to do so you need to complete your fishing collection. Basically that translates to catch all 40 different fish and you're good to go. The first thing that I recommend doing is starting up a match of battle lab which you can do right here. And then once you press play you're going to get match options. So select that and then your spawn location it can be anywhere but you want to put the loot on high explosives. Uh, the rest is fine and then make sure to put the time of day on night. There are certain fish that you can only catch when it's night and the other fish of which the time of day is not dependent we can catch those later but in order to make sure you can catch every single one of the fish that you want make sure to leave it on night so that it's easier for you. After you've done that just press accept and then start your match. There are two additional things that you want to take into account. The first thing is that there are some fish which you can only catch with a pro fishing rod and you can either get one by breaking a fishing barrel or by upgrading a normal one. The second thing is that there are certain fish which are dependent on a certain area of the map. So I'm pulling up a map right now and it's showcasing four different areas. So we have the coastal areas, there's a swamp area, and we have the forest area, and the last thing is the mountain area. I'm sure that the part of craggy cliffs also belongs to the coast, but just to make things more convenient, I only selected the part that's what he sent. If you're wondering whether or not you will get XP for completing your fishing punch card in Battle Lab, it will, and I'll show you some footage at the end of the video because I completed my punch card in Battle Lab as well. Right, let's get on with the list. So at number one we have the orange flopper. You can get this anywhere. I'm pretty sure that most of you have this by now. If you throw a normal fishing rod or a pro fishing rod anywhere, uh, there's a very high chance that you'll get this one. Also, I've got 79 of them, which is quite a lot. The same thing applies to the green flopper. You can find it anywhere. You don't have to do anything specific for it. Just play the game, use some fishing spots, and you'll be good to go. At number three we have the blue flopper, which you can also catch anywhere. And then at number four, there's the black and blue shield fish. This one, you can also catch it anywhere. One important thing to keep in mind is with anywhere, you do have to fish them from fishing spots. Like I'm not sure if you can get them from fishing in open water, but definitely if you use a fishing spot. So don't take any risks, just use the fishing spot and you should get them in no time. At number five, we have the black striped shield fish. This was actually the last fish that I had to catch. And you can only find this in the coastal area. So uh, I think the spot where I got it from is you have a little bit of land next to Coral Castle and there are several fishing spots there. I used one of those and I eventually got this one and it completed my punch card for me. Number six is the green shield fish. You can catch this in forest areas. So just land in Weeping Woods, um, stand on the bridge, look for fishing spots over there and eventually you're gonna get it from there. The pink shield fish at number seven you can catch from anywhere but for this one you need a pro fishing rod. So if you're using a normal fishing rod there's no way that you're gonna get this. Up next we have the light blue shield fish which you can also catch anywhere. I've got 22 of them. They aren't as common as the normal floppers but they definitely will spawn often. Then we're gonna move on to the slurp fishes. So blue slurp fish you can catch anywhere. This is number 9. Then yellow slurp fish at number 10 you can only catch in swamp areas. If you stand in the water around slurpy swamp make sure you're fishing in a spot where the water is actually muddy or there's like slurp juice in the water. Then at number 11 we have the purple slurp fish. This one you can catch from mountainous areas. So the best spot to catch the mountainous fish is the area surrounding Lazy Lake Island. There's also Gorker that spawn, can spawn there. Also in Battle Lab so if that happens then just take it out and continue fishing. But yeah you can get this one pretty quickly from any one of the fishing spots that are... Oh you can also get it from the spots at Lazy Lake by the way. That also counts. Then at number 12 we have the black slurp fish. This one you can catch at coastal areas but only at night. So get yourself a pro fishing rod like I mentioned earlier. Set the time of day to night and then start fishing around sweaty sand, squirrel castle and you should get this one. Number 13 is the white slurp fish. This one you can catch in swamp areas at night and it requires a pro fishing rod. So this one has a lot of requirements. I only caught it once and this one actually took me a while. So I'm not sure how lucky you're going to get. But yeah, this one can be a bit tricky. At number 14, we have the light blue small fry. This is the most common of small fries. You can only catch this if by fishing in open water. So you're not going to get this if you fish in a fishing spot. Also, I'm not sure if it counts if you open a freezer and then get a light blue small fry. I think it doesn't, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Moving on, we have a couple more small fry. So the next one is the tan small fry. You can also catch this anywhere. Um, the way I caught the majority of the small fry was by standing on the pier of sweaty sands and I just kept throwing my fishing rod in open water and eventually I completed this one and I got all uh, five different variants. So number 16 is the purple top small fry. Only got this one once but it also just comes from open water. I think this is actually the rarest one of the small fry. Number 17 is the black small fry. Oh, you can only catch this one in open water at night. I forgot to mention that, but that's important. I've caught it quite often, so whenever it's night and you throw your fishing rod in open water, 
there should be a high chance of you catching this one. Next on the list at number 18 is the blue small fry. So you can catch this one in coastal areas uh, and you have to be fishing in open water. Time to move on to the thermal fish. The first one is the purple and orange thermal fish. You can catch it anywhere. I've got a lot of these, 37. That's quite impressive considering it's a legendary fish. Then number 20 goes to the green thermal fish. This one you can catch from fishing spots in forest areas. Only caught it twice, but that's because I haven't been fishing a lot in, uh, in the forest areas. Then we have the silver thermal fish. You can catch it anywhere, but you do need to have a pro fishing rod, otherwise it's not going to happen. Number 22 goes to the raven thermal fish, and this one you can catch in coastal areas. So for example, sweaty sands, craggy cliffs, but you do need to have a pro fishing rod. And then the last of the thermal fish is the red and green thermal fish. This is a small boy. Like compared to the other ones, this one is really small. Uh, anyway, you can catch this one in forest areas, so get yourself a pro fishing rod, go into um, weeping woods, and you should be able to get this one. Moving on to number 24, we have the spicy fish. Uh, this is the molten spicy fish. You can get it anywhere. It's quite common, got 30 of them. So yeah, this shouldn't be taking you that much effort. Next one is the drift spicy fish. You can catch this in forest areas. So go into weeping woods, use the fishing spots there and you should be good to go. The next one is the white spotted spicy fish. This one you can catch in the mountainous areas. So again, the area surrounding Misty Meadows, Lazy Lake Island and Lazy Lake itself, you should be able to get it from there. Then we have the southern spicy fish. This is number 27. This one you can only catch in swamp areas, such as Slurpee Swamp. And then the last of the spicy fish is the sky blue spicy fish. This one you can only catch in coastal areas. So for example, sweaty sands or craggy cliffs. I think this is the most adorable one of all the spicy fish. Up next, I think we have the jellyfish. Yes, we do. First one is the slurp jellyfish. You can find this anywhere. I've got a lot of them. I think they're equally as common as the, um, the floppers. So this one shouldn't take you that much effort. Then there's the peaty jellyfish. This one you can only catch in mountainous areas and you do need to have a pro fishing rod. Otherwise you're not gonna catch it. The next one at number 31 is the purple jellyfish. This one you can only catch in coastal areas. And then number 32 is the dark vanguard jellyfish and this one you can only catch at night oh i quickly need to get out of the storm because otherwise we're gonna keep hearing that sound i hope i survived this fall it's quite the f <laughs> really and we're back i completely forgot to pay attention to the zone so when i heard it i was like i don't want to constantly listen to the sound of me standing in the storm and then i moved and i died but anyways uh i think we were at the cuddle jellyfish this one you can find in swamp areas so go to slurpy swamp stand in the muddy water and you should be able to get this Plot number 34 goes to the drift hop flopper this you can find anywhere it's very common this is the most common hop flopper you can find basically if you're going for any other ones you should be able to get this one then we have the atlantic hop flopper this one you can only find in the mountainous areas and you need a pro fishing rod. At number 36 we have the chum hop flopper. This one you can find in coastal areas and I don't have the high score by like literally one millimeter. That's pretty pretty harsh. It's quite common so this one shouldn't take you that long to find. Spot number 37 goes to the chin hook hop flopper and this one you can only find in swamp areas. Then at number 38 we have the last of the hop floppers which is the coho or choho. No I think it's coho hop flopper. This one you can only find in forest areas. Then there are two floppers remaining. The first one is the Vendetta flopper. You can catch it anywhere, but it requires a pro fishing rod. I think that I got quite lucky with this one because after I first caught it, which was yesterday, I have used about a hundred or maybe more fishing spots and I haven't seen it anymore. So this one is very rare. Um, but you can catch it anywhere, but you only need a pro fishing rod. Now the last one at number 40 is the Midas flopper. Um, it's saying that you can catch it anywhere and it's also not specifying that you need a pro fishing rod. However, I think that that information is incorrect. According to some leakers, they've also said that Fortnite still needs to update this. The way I got it is I was using fishing spots near the authority and I had a pro fishing rod. I think that in order to stay safe and not go insane, go for that approach because same as with the Vendetta flopper, I haven't seen this one anymore uh, after I got it once. Also, you know, since Midas kind of controlled the authority, uh, or the agency rather, he was at the center of the map, so it would make sense for the Midas flopper to be there and not anywhere else on the map. But yeah, maybe they should really look into this because the found anywhere, I don't think it's correct. That's gonna be it for this video, you guys. If you want me to make a video where I actually show how I caught all the fish, I can do that. Just leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also leave them in the comment section down below. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace!